There's a lot of information out there now that the HIV AIDS epidemic may be soon over. While infection rates are going down around the world, which is terrific, young women are still at incredibly high risk of infection. Women are disempowered in most places in the world and can't negotiate safer sex. Isn't there something that women can use at the site of infection that's under their control? And that can be a huge game-changing event. The Depenvirine ring is one tool that can put greater power of protection into women's hands. It will allow them a discreet method to protect themselves from HIV infection. It slowly releases the drug to pivering, and it gets into the cells that HIV infects and it blocks the infection. Janssen Pharmaceuticals of the Johnson & Johnson companies was really very helpful because they gave us a royalty-free license for depivering. We see global strategic partnerships as the driving force to creating innovation. And so by partnering with IPM, we can bring our skill sets together to help reduce the burden of HIV. And it's a unique and really innovative partnership because it combines a nonprofit, private enterprise, and the public sector. Our government partners were instrumental in getting the Depivering Ring to where it is now. The U.S. National Institutes of Health and the United States Agency for International Development. We began the phase three trials and we found that the Pivoring Ring, if used consistently and correctly, could significantly reduce a woman's risk of getting infected. It is going to be an important part of the whole prevention toolkit. It's discreet, it's long acting, and it's going to provide women the opportunity to empower themselves with each of us coming together, we're able to bring our various expertise and skill sets and resources to help address this critical problem. It really does take a village. It takes a village from the very beginning. We're going to be there in the long term to help improve women's lives. <laughs>